name's Rowan. I am a management student at the University of Cambridge. I think the what I'm hoping to get from the Greater Bay Area is just an exposure to this part of the world that I've absolutely never been to. To be honest, know very little about and I'd, you know, um, go on these tours, you know, visit, meet people, um, and through that just kind of develop an understanding of this particularly interesting region within China. Hello, my name is Bowen. I'm a computing student at Imperial. I think it would be really good for me to learn more about that place. It's um, technologically, I think it's, it's what's called the Silicon Valley of China, but I think it would be incredibly insightful for me to be able to go and just understand more about that place. I can't wait to come visit you in the Greater Bay Area. I'm honoured to be participating in the Touching the Greater Bay Area. Ni hao dao you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Wendy and I'm a student from the Greater Bay Area. And today I'm going to lead you to experience the shared education mechanisms in the Greater Bay Area. So I think we have some tasks sent by the director. Ooh. Thank you. That sounds great. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So Imperial College London is that in London? That is the one I want. currently in Guangzhou, the central district in the Greater Bay Area, and in terms of education, there are many collaborations between corporation and school here, fostering creativity in young people. And I've heard um, WeChat has K-12 program. Let's learn about it. Sure. Sounds good. I set my WeChat pay up at the airport. It's just about working. Here we go. Yeah, look at those buildings. Those are amazing. Yeah. I think I'm going to try my um, mobile pay to buy a coffee. Sounds good. I might do the same. Sounds great. It's good. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. In WeChat, there is a feature called Mini Program, which is a feature that fulfills your daily needs. Mini Program has also launched a mobile app, which is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile app for K-12 education. Mini Program is a mobile it's important that a generation of young people learn to develop these programs. Uh, it's extremely good for kids just to start learning programming because not only is this um, easy to use, you're actually creating programs which even the big companies um, are using. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, we can create our own uh, mini program and help that tourists and the students to learn more uh, Cantonese and Mandarin. If you have any idea, you can add on it. Sure. Yeah. Do we define our pages in the index.json? Yeah. Yeah. 
just using vanilla web stuff. Wow, well, you guys did a very good job. Sorry, do you want to make a sentence? Chang Feng, how Chang ah? Okay. Oh, really good. Many programs seem to sit between apps and websites. They allow deeper systems integration than websites, but they're also fast and convenient, um, which means you can download them quicker than apps. Um, I can clearly see how when you're in a busy situation, you're trying to order something quite quickly. Um, the mini programs fill that niche incredibly well. Mission accomplished. We are in the Hengqing Guangdong Macau Deep Cooperation Zone. This cooperation zone is based on the development concept of for sharing, that is, sharing in consultation, construction, benefits, and win win outcomes. So now let's go and check out some examples. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go. Hi, Johnny. Uh, I wondered what's the purpose of this lab. It's a pretty cool system to be honest. Um, I've never come across something like this before. Well, don't I tell you to understand? He just also opened it here. This one, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now what we see is a power grid simulation test platform. In the experiment, it can simulate various working conditions of the power grid. Uh, now uh, you can have a try to connect uh, the, the wire. in the research and the application of key technologies and the core equipments for the flexible distribution systems in the laboratory. Because the University of Macau has a long cooperation with Guangdong Power Grid, and I'm so lucky to have the chance to take part in this internship, uh, which I can gain more harvest different from the knowledge of school. There is a really robust platform for which students in the Greater Bay Area can, even during their studies, be able to work in companies that are just starting and be able to bring in their new, like their fresh new ideas into a company that can then help them turn those into actual products and actually show them the way to turn those ideas into something that can actually be created and go out into the world. Explore the concept of environmental protection and shared education mechanisms in the Greater Bay Area. Mission accomplished! We are now in Dongguan. Dongguan is central to promoting collaboration between corporations and universities. So our mission today is to discover this collaboration mechanism. Let's go! Let's go! Whoa! Little robot dog. That's fantastic. It's like the futures for robot Yes, yeah, let's go find out about this yeah. product. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you. This is an amazing uh, machine. Was it developed here? Yeah, it's, this is actually our first generation robot. All our motors here, we use uh, the so-called direct drive motors because uh, there are no gearboxes, there are no friction, which makes the robot's control uh, getting very easy. First generation is mainly for education, uh, and also we are putting it into some scenes. Uh, startup companies uh, in the Great Bay Area, and all of them have uh, a very strong connection with the university, and which offers a very good resources for companies to uh, to import the talents and import some knowledge or some papers to help these companies to grow up. Yes, so welcome to our entertaining room. So all our colleagues, all our uh, partners, um, so when they are going to take a rest, they will come here uh, and they will communicate their ideas. This is also one of one of our products. Mm -hmm. So we use our motors to produce force. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can have a try. Yeah. Like just really. <laughs> That looks like a really strong motor. Okay. So this actually makes this equipment being very different from the conventional ones. But I think also one of the major benefits is this is now portable. Yeah. The sure. actual, because you know, you could, mm -hmm. obviously it's connected to a larger machine in this context, but you yeah. could move this around yeah, yeah. because it's just two motors as opposed yes. to a hundred kilograms of weight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which is yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah, It was really nice um, meeting the director of Direct Drive Tech. I think that's a, a, obviously a, a brilliant um, link between industry and education. Um, and I generally had a very positive experience to see how their company is moving through the value chain. Um, their products, um, their educational application is, 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 is very fascinating. gain an in-depth understanding of the concepts of education, innovation, and technology talent training in the Greater Bay Area. Mission accomplished. The Greater Bay Area is becoming uh, increasingly important on the world stage with developments of um, stuff like China's Silicon Valley. So it'd be really, really interesting to learn about how students here are being uh, helped with engaging with the wider world and allowed to use their education to help um, parts of the world that aren't just China and be able to make an impact on the world as a whole. Yeah. The past few days we have explored the collaboration between educational institutions and industry in the Greater Bay Area. We have seen how students from Macau University are helping on electrification grid problems. I particularly enjoyed learning about how WeChat uses mini-apps and how they are working with schools to help kids learn coding skills. And finally, we have also found out about how um, startups, including a robotics company, is working with lots of students from um, universities around the Greater Bay Area. Um, I've really thoroughly enjoyed my trip and I really hope to come back to the Greater Bay Area soon. Hello, GBA. Hey!